Here we have a Dell Latitude 3540 2014 model. We're going to open up and explore the insides. This is actually the same laptop as a Dell Instron 3548, just with a different name on it. So as you know, before you start, always put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage it or scratch it. And we're going to lay it down so we can open it up. So we're going to remove the battery first. By pinching away the two sides. You're going to need a normal Phillips head screwdriver to remove two screws. Holding the small black back cover down. So you just put your fingers in. You sort of have to lift it up and slide it a bit for it to come out. There's two RAM slots, as you can see. So we're going to push away the two sides and the RAM pops up. There's a hard drive slot here. I don't have a hard drive currently in it. But I've got to put it in. There's two screws holding it down where my fingers are. You have to remove two of those to remove the hard drive. There's a screw here to remove the DVD drive. You remove the screw and the DVD drive comes out. Just pull it out and it comes out. So now we want to remove every screw on the back. And there's a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, and 13, I believe. Most of the screws on the back are the same size. If they're on the outer cover, then they're the same size. If it's on the inside where we had to remove the cover, the screws are generally smaller. And there's two screws behind the battery, which are smaller than the outside screws. Now that we've removed all the screws, we're going to flip it over to remove the keyboard. The keyboard is actually a bit hard to remove. So, where I'm pointing now, there's like gaps where the keyboard is held down by clips. So, you're going to need your prime tool. Generally, start at the corner, it's a lot easier to pry. Normally keyboards only have clips holding it at the top, but for this model, they have clips holding it on the side as well. So after you remove all the clips, you just slide it out. Remember not to pull it too hard, as the keyboard cable is still stuck in. There's a few screws behind the keyboard. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember to move the cable before you remove the seventh screw. 
the screws have um, numbers next to it, if you look at it carefully. It has 2.5 times 3, or 2.5 times 5. That tells you how long the screws are. Here, when we zoom in, you can sort of see it. This, this one says 2.5 times 5, uh, 2.55, and there's some 2.53. That just gives you indication of where. Oh, uh, here's the screw I told you. You want to remove the cable before you remove the screw, or else you damage the cable. Yes. So with the numbers on the side of the screws, it tells you what screw goes there. That will help you reassemble the laptop. So now we removed all the screws behind the LC, uh, behind the keyboard. We're going to need our prime tool again to go around the side to remove the top cover. So you want to go around all the sides. The side that the LC is attached, you need to flip it over and unclip it from behind where the battery is. So now that I've pried the front and left and right, we're going to flip it over a bit. Try ruin not to close your laptop as it makes the clips go back in. Just tilt your laptop a bit. There's a few tabs here, clips, that hold um, the front cover down or the key oh, this keyboard cover down. After we remove those, it comes off pretty easily. So the CPU is under there. That's the wireless card. That's a fan. That's a speaker one, speaker two. These black dots are your graphic card RAM, and your graphic card's behind there. And that's about it. This is relatively pretty easy. There's a number of screws, so remember to put your screws separately so you know where each screw goes. Remember the screws have numbers next to them. 5 and 5, 5.2 or 2.5 or 2.5 times 3 or something. So that's all you need to know. And that's it. Thanks for watching.